In this video, I will take you through the steps and processes to make this birdcage, which I have called Taj O Fol. The inspiration for this birdcage came from the wonderful garden follies that were erected in gardens in Europe and the UK. Some parts are thrown on the potter's wheel, some are handmade, and some are slip cast. These are the thrown parts. They are the finial, gallery one, the dome, gallery two, the base, and the feeder bowls, which are not shown here. Throw this shape for the dome, and the measurements given throughout are a guide only. For the finial, throw this shape. The knob is added later. For gallery number one, throw this shape to about these dimensions. Gallery two is a similar shape and proportionally larger. The base is thrown this shape to these dimensions. The feeder bowls are wheel thrown to these dimensions and the details for attaching them are given here on this diagram. These are the hand-built parts. They are the top support for the columns and the base for the columns. This shows you the shape and sizes for the top support. And it is important to make this 5mm hole in the middle for the supporting rod. This shows you the shape and dimensions required for the base of the columns. And once again, don't forget to make this hole in the centre for the supporting rod. The slip cast parts are the top of the columns, the middle of the columns and the bottom of the columns. These three pieces will have to be hand built, then cast in plaster moulds. Then they can be slip cast. Eight of each will be needed. Here we have the shape and dimensions for the top of the columns and the centre of the columns and the base of the columns. Allow all the parts to dry to leather hard. Turning, finishing and any other decorations can be done at the leather hard stage. After turning the cage base, add the four bases for the columns. It is important to make these eight 3mm holes in the base for the wire frames. Any cutout or incising decorations to the two gallery pieces must be done at leather hard stage after turning. Now make these eight 3mm holes in the underside of gallery two to match the holes in the base for the insertion of the wire frames. Now that all the parts have been completed, they are allowed to dry. Then bisque fire them, apply glazes and glaze fire them. Now it's time to assemble the bird cage. Begin by joining the dome parts together using a strong and reliable ceramic adhesive. Join the columns together and fix them to the base. Join the three parts of the columns together using a strong ceramic adhesive and then use a 3.175mm brass rod shredded at each end to hold the columns to the base as shown in this diagram. With adhesive also at the top and the bottom. The dome is then attached to the top of the four column sets using a strong reliable ceramic ad adhesive. And now it's time to attach the wires and the door to your cage. Make up four wire frames as shown here. The width at the top and bottom will measure up to the holes previously made in the top gallery and the base. To make the door, First, 
use one millimeter flat brass plate to join the top and bottom wires together using solder and then cut away the intervening wires. Make up the door and then attach it as shown here. This diagram shows the close-up details of how the catch is made. And here I am applying the finishing touches to a fully assembled cage. Here are some other cages that have been made in the same way but decorated differently. This cage was decorated by first painting the parts of the dome and the base with terracotta slip. Then the gum leaf pattern was made by cutting away the slip to reveal the white clay beneath. The parts were then glazed with a transparent green glaze. The columns are glazed in the Majolica style with green and brown glaze. The decoration for this cage is known as agate ware. The finial, dome, gallery two and base were thrown with a mix of terracotta and white clay to create the agate effect. These were clear glazed. The columns were glazed with a white opaque glaze and the black was brushed on with a feather to also create an agate look. And finally, this cage is decorated simply using transparent green and yellow glaze over the white clay body.